people, welcome back, more Vine than Y. So today is not only Monday, but it's a special Monday, even not for you guys, but for me of course. If you guys did not know, well, and now you know, today is my birthday. Yes, today is my birthday. And like I said, when it comes to my birthday and every single birthday, not only is it my birthday, but it is also Kakashi Kyle's birthday. If that man is still alive to this day, I said he doesn't really do anything when it comes to you, Gail. It's kind of weird that he's like, you know, he's like, I'm the best Yubel player, and then he just disappears. Like, you know, I'm sitting here using Yubel decks every single day, and then this man just disappears. But yes, uh, not only do we share Yubel, but we also share the same birthday. So I'm not sure how old Kakashi Kyle turned. I, I want to say 24, 25, because I know he's older than me. But if you're wondering how old I am turning today, I am turning 21. Well, turned. I record this ahead of time, all right? I turned 21. Uh, uh, mine, is, mine is a fun deck, too. Now, it, it, I record this ahead of time, so it's technically out of and it, you know, Technically, I wasn't even born until like 10.30 at night on, you know, June 8th. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're going to be trying this deck out. I tweaked it. I definitely, I tweaked it. I twerked it. I wanted to make it better. I wanted to make it work, twerk it, so... Uh, we're going to be trying out some plays, definitely, definitely. So the only question is, what do I want to do first turn? If I can go ahead and go to Rotor Search and do that classic play, or I can go the Tour Guide and some of that play. I think I'm going to go ahead and go the classic play. I'm trying out Commander again because I was realizing with this deck, I was, I was, I was you know, it's a late. I've been stepping away from the Archfiends, and it kind of sucks because I, the whole deck point of it is to be the Archfiends. So I wanted to get some more Archfiends involved. So one of the things that's good about Commander is, of course, when you special summon it, you go ahead and destroy the monster and. The one thing I was having a hard time with is Calvary. Calvary's a great monster, 1900, but he has to be destroyed by card effect to get his effect from the graveyard, which is an awesome effect. It's just, you know, generally I didn't have anything to go ahead and destroy him until I started running Dark Hole, which is a totally fine card. Um, you know, he had Nefarious Usher and Nefariousness, which, you know, probably is for this deck now that I think about it, because it kind of makes sense. But uh, it just seemed like I really wasn't uh, destroying enough, so I wanted to get, and I wasn't running enough arch, enough enough Archeen, so I wanted to get them more involved. So, I'm running that. I'm also running uh, Archeen's Roar. And the reason why I'm running Archeen's Roar is because you can actually search it through Eris. I didn't read Eris right. You, apparently you get an Archeen card. You get an Archeen card, and it sucks that falling down. Of course, it's not an Archeen card, because it's not like Archeen is falling down, that's no, just falling down. So, can't search for that. But I can't search for Archeen's Roar, which is, you know, essentially my, uh, my monster born. Alright, well, I don't have an Earth monster, so... I have to worry about that, nor do I play any Earth Monsters. So I'm wondering if it's actually the, that Earth Chamber deck, because I think they got like some Untamed or something, some some trap card that's actually really good for, uh, and it actually makes, you know, the Earth Charmers or whatever, the Earth Tamers, and actually, I mean, well not the Earth, the Tamers, or the Charmers, an actual decent deck just because of that trap card. Uh, I can't remember specifically, I saw it like once in one episode of a Deandro commentary, and that's pretty much it. But uh, I, I heard it's a pretty good card. I heard of it. I think it like increases your attack and defense and stuff, and makes it so you can't be destroyed. Card effect? I can't remember. I can't remember off the top of my mind. I'm not going to BS you and tell you, uh, you know, the way incorrect effect. But it definitely looks like he's, he's using that deck. Oh, I got to do math. Well, no, this is not difficult math. All this is 450, so I'll go ahead and take that. He's not playing any back row so hard. Now the question is, what do I want to do? Because I have, I, I, I have plays. I have plays. I have plays out of the limit verse. You know, sit like that. Okay, we have Calvary. So the thing is, is that if I had another Archfiend in my graveyard, I can go summon Calvary, special summon Commander, popping the Calvary, and Calvary will go ahead and summon me an Archfiend from my graveyard, which would be awesome, great, right? You know. Uh, I think for now, I'm just gonna go tour guide, tour guide, summon Aeris. Then I could go into Zen Mains and then Zen Mains crash into him, detach, get my search, because as long as I, you know, detach on my own accord, that's not effect activation. Because you can't, with that card, you can't detach off of effect activation. But Zen Mains doesn't activate when you detach for its, uh, protecting itself. So that's the reason why you still get Eris effect, which is actually pretty decent, you know? Is it, it's just like it's just like one one. So I'll go ahead and take that. Was that three fifty? Even out my life points and go ahead and pop you. 
and get my search on. I want to detach you. I get my fact because nothing activates. And I guess I'll go ahead and get Commander. Eh, Commander is totally fine right now. Totally fine. Grab, like I said, this deck is one of the more slower decks. Yeah, and then during the end phase, I'm gonna go ahead and pop you. Let's go ahead. There's no way I want to pop fucking Chamber. I don't give a shit. Two shits about her. But I would really like to go ahead and kill that familiar. Get a little protection and then maybe give me like future combo pieces. I'm still trying to find the balance. This is more of an experimental video to see where I want to go with Archfiends. You know, do I want to go with the Archfiends or Because like I said, Archfiends or I can search with error. See, it says uh, you can add one Archfiend card. It works as long as the it as long as it is not detached by an effect activation. When Zen detaches to protect, oh my god, pro ah god, I can't type, protect, it does not activate. That's the reason why it works. Just like with 101. Yeah. Like, with your put. Yeah. Like, if you have 101 and your opponent goes, oh, Regeki, you don't go activate 101 effect, detach, and then protect. Like, no. It just. You want to. It literally just says, hey, do you want to protect? You want to detach to protect? Sure. Yeah. So. Alright. That's fine. So, uh, of course, Swords of Kissing Light and then throw the Regeki at me. More power to you. I have no complaints in that. I will take your 1850. Mmm. Yeah, I'll take you to 1850. Now I'm just trying to question what I want to do next. I could go activate Limit Reverse, summon her, then you go ahead and banish and pop. I can only summon Fiend type monsters, so that still should be in the realm. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. Let's see, this shall all be fine. That's it. I'm actually committing blasphemy right now. I'm gonna actually cut the limit reverse down to two to test out some experiments and things, which totally I shouldn't be fucking redoing that because uh, I summoned it during your end phase. Does this say I can't summon change? Watch your opponent scroll tonight to bend. Oh, period. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. This is period. I thought it just said, I thought it was just affected by uh, monsters that were affected by the swords. No, it says right there, period. Monsters your opponent control cannot change the power positions, period. So no, I cannot. So let me go ahead and just set this, activate this. My bad. A <laughs> Uh So that kind of wrecks my plans because I was planning on turning defense mode, summoning Terra, then summoning Emperor. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I activated it. It's totally fine. It was my bad. I misplayed. I didn't read your swords. No. Uh, well, my plan was to go ahead and turn you build a defense mode, summon terror, and then have Emperor destroy terror, therefore getting ultimate nightmare. But no, I mean, I could still do this hand play, but it would just turn you bell into terror, which wouldn't be as good. You know, or I could just throw the dark hole at him, but I kind of feel like, you know, if I'm just going to dark hole you, I might as well just turn into terror. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, normal summon Emperor. It's just of course his effects and stats cut in half. Blah 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 blah. And then I can once you're like a banish on to target one card on the field and destroy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use its effect. I'm gonna go ahead and banish one of these commanders. Like I said, I'm not sure how to select an Emperor so far, but I really don't need multiples. So, you know, I kind of only need like I'm I'm right now I'm running three, but I'm thinking about cutting. I was thinking about cutting down to two, and I was even thinking about it. So we're gonna go ahead and summon pair. Uh, then we'll go ahead and have Terror Weapon. Might as well activate this. I also increased the numbers of Armageddon Knights and Dark Refers because I kind of felt like that was a problem too. It's what I, when I had only one Armageddon Knight in... No, I had no, I had three Armageddon Knights and one Dark Refer, which Dark Refer... Uh, uh, Dark Refer, he's not as good in his deck. It's because Eris, if you pitch her for cost, uh, she kind of misses timing and she wouldn't resolve anyway. So you go Dark Refer, effect, you know, generally... The monster that you pitch doesn't get the effect, but the monster that you do send does get the effect. So, one of the problems I was running to when I was running, I was like, oh, Dark Reverie doesn't really do anything, you know, 
and I keep on running into this problem where he's not getting an effect. I pitch Eris and then I don't get her effects. So I'm a cut down Dark Rapper. But then I would have a terrible time of drawing shitty hands because I didn't have enough monsters to even make the plays worthwhile. So, uh, go ahead and end my turn. Try effect. It's interesting that he did that. Thought he had a plan with uh let me go ahead and copy and paste this effect. Okay, you got it. I said you said let me read, so I was wondering if you were reading tear. So the thing with his deck is his deck is pretty slow. He's gonna he's gonna have to pull out a lot more to be able to go ahead and push and kill tear, so right now I'm sitting I'm sitting pretty decently, I must say. Now the question is what do I wanna do? That is the question. You know what? I'm just, I'm just thinking I'm gonna just go ahead and summon an Armageddon Knight. Has it been two? Show this card during your second standby phase after activation. Has it been two? I can't remember. Has it been two? It hasn't been two. It'll be two next turn. No. It shouldn't be two. It's catching me off guard, man. So we'll go ahead and send Eris. And like I said, Eris gets her effect coming on, and she said by Armageddon Knight, and I can actually go ahead and get our Trinzor. Which is kind of like a searchable water down called Hunting. So I activate it, pay 500, target our chain, special summon, can't be triggered, but during the phase, it's destroyed. You know, So if I actually summon Calvary, then it will get its effect. So it's not a terrible idea to say the least. So I'm just going to go ahead and say effect. It's also not attached to the monster, and it doesn't specify any. Uh, position so you know, I can go ahead and chain it so no nope, you weren't flipped sorry if you were flipped you could have got taken control of me you could have took control of my tear while well, this card remains face up on the field of course so I would have went Armageddon I attack into your monster you would have flipped up took my tear then during your end phase tear would have wiped and then I would have got gain control again so interesting I said I think it was just good because it's searchable and like I said I needed more destruction if I was gonna I, don't, I still don't like the field spell I really don't get it maybe maybe I'm wrong but I don't get it it's kind of like oh banish one of your fiends and then target one and summon same level from the deck and it's like eh you know like I'm Calvary I don't run that many of and I'm not really gonna do it with Emperor I'm just like I don't know I don't know I don't really like the field spell so we have some interesting plays, and like I said, I really want to apply some interesting plays this turn. The question is just what do I want to do? That is the question. And like good old Yu-Gi-Oh fashion, I'm not sure just because uh, I don't trust these flip monsters. You know? I just don't trust them. I'm thinking about going summon Calvary, then popping to summon Commander. Commander, I mean... Cavalry effect will go off and I'll be able to summon the Emperor. Emperor, go ahead and banish one of the heiresses to destroy my terror and turn into ultimate nightmare. He won't be able to attack, and I don't think he'll be able to attack either. Yeah, he won't be able to attack either. But yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and have fun. I'm up on resources, so. So we'll go ahead and special summon. Destroy you. Effect. Summon you. Effect. Go ahead and banish one of the heirs. I want to keep you in here because I might be able to use you with, you know, like, Archings or the Sorry, Terror effect. So, Ultimate Nightmare is the only one that can attack this turn. And I can only summon Fiend type monster. No, that's only that's if I use its normal summon effect. Yeah, which I didn't. So, I'm still I'm still in a clear for right now. Try not to misplay. So, it's his hand, but they cannot attack. All right. So, you can attack and you can attack. You can attack as yourself. You can attack as a Calvary. So. I'll just go ahead and have Ultimate Nightmare attack. I said, even if it's your flip monster, you won't be on the field to resolve your effect anyway. So, you take 1850. It's fine. And now, now we're starting to cook with some fire. We're starting to see it. I'm still not liking the commander, but he helped, I guess. Like I said, I'm thinking about maybe just running something different when it comes to destruction other than him. Because it seems like he doesn't bring any terror. I like the Dark Holes. I guess I could put a Torrental in here. I don't know, but, you know. I'm thinking about running something that destroys besides you, because you're not really doing it for me. It seems like, unless I get Dark Graffer and shit, which I'm not even sure of keeping him at multiples either. Alright, so what does this do? Alright, remove from play one monster in your hand to activate the effect. The opponent cannot active opponent's monsters that have the same attribute as the effect. 
cannot declare an attack. Ooh, damn. Ooh. Hmm. I could always pop that though. Monster opponents monsters that have the same attribute as the move monster by the effect cannot declare an attack. We may get in my effect. Maybe we talk, but yeah, I can I can still wreck you, you know? I also really like him because he's a 1900 beater. Like, there's nothing complaining from a 1900 beater. So, um. Can I move on my side of the field? It just has to be from my graveyard. You can banish an archie card from your hand or graveyard. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, I guess. I just go ahead and go Emperor Effect. I really want to keep you, but I really want to keep you too. Because both of you guys would be really well with Archons, or but I can always get another one of you. I'm running two of you right now, so I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Unless I completely fucked myself and I can't go for a game. It's 55. I think I still have it. You know, with Archons, where I can go ahead and activate it, pay 500 life points, summon my Eris, and Eris attack. So. I think I still might have game, and if I have game, then that's it. <laughs> so at least I learned a lot. I learned I learned a lot in this duel. I must say, a handful of things that I like, and a handful of things that I don't. I don't I don't mind this because that was my problem when I was when I was running this deck without the Archeen's Roar. Is that Eris would literally just search me monsters. Like that was it. It would just search me monsters, but it wouldn't search me anything else. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know, and I. I'm gonna end this video anyway. Uh, I know. I can go celebrate my birthday. But uh I'm still just gonna go ahead and talk, so uh I said I'm not sure about the multiple dark graphers, like I said, it just doesn't seem like Dark Graffer brings anything new to tables generally, especially if I take out Commander, there's not really anything I wanna really pitch to the graveyard, you know? You know, I don't if I pitch Eris I don't get her fast. I don't wanna pitch Emperor because I want him in my hand. I don't wanna pitch Calvary to an extent. I mean he needs to be sent to a graveyard by Karth. I mean, he has to be destroyed to get his effect. So I really don't want him. You know, there's just not a lot of want to pitch. So I'd probably drop it, our Dark Graveyard back down to one. Keep the three Armageddon Knights. And then just find some way, some something. Because I'm not really liking the commander. He really didn't bring anything new to the table. So like, hey, you can special summon him and then destroy. Like, eh. You know? Like I said, maybe, maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe I need to check out a couple more Archfiend decks. But so far... Um, let's see what else. I do like the command. I, I, I would run more. I right now I'm running two commanders. I would probably run. I'm thinking probably keep it at two, uh, maybe three. I'd run more commander if I can get more destruction. You know, if I had more destruction, I'd run more commander because he's actually pretty good. Um, I'm liking the Archfiend's Roar. It was actually pretty decent, especially since it was searchable. It's a, you know searchable called the Hunted, which once again it destroys during the end phase. So you know. It's the fact that I get to go ahead and destroy my uh, commander. I mean, my cavalry makes me happy, yay! But commander is kind of eh. So, uh, which is uh, which is odd because it was like the one card that was supposed to make you know archfiends the tits. But maybe I'm um, personally I just don't like it. Mm, maybe it just doesn't do anything for me. You know, especially in multiples like three, like maybe two. But you know, with me opening like double like that and me drawing into shit more shit that I want to draw into, just not a big fan of it. So. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So if you guys want to go ahead and tell me happy birthday in the comment section below I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the support uh, not only is it my birthday You know today, but coming up it is actually the my YouTube channel's three-year anniversary because I Actually started my YouTube channel a couple days after my birthday like my birthday My 18th birthday was on June 8th 2012 and then I started my YouTube channel on June 13th 2012 so you know, three years later, I'm 21 and not 18, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be three years of anniversary, about a little bit over 1,500 subs, and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So uh, yeah, I'm planning on doing maybe like some kind of live stream or something to to celebrate. I'm not sure what we're gonna do on the live stream, but I'm, I'm uh, this man's name is the Boner Salesman. Aren't aren't all men Boner Salesmen? I mean, come on, come on, man. Am I right, man? Am I right? I fucking majority of my demographic men and probably like one girl. <laughs> Hi mom. <laughs> and ass. She doesn't even watch my videos. <laughs> uh but no, seriously. Uh I'm thinking I'm planning on doing some kind of live stream or something, something to celebrate, I'm not sure, but uh
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I generally like to do like, giveaways and stuff, but I've just been so strapped on cash. Because guess what? It's my birthday, but guess what? The one thing I didn't fucking get for my birthday. Don't say fucking sex. I'm <laughs> watching y'all assholes. No, I didn't get any cash. Nope, 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 nope. I got indirect cash. Like, you know, my mom took, I already did talk about their duels when my mom took me and Lenny and Melvin out to dinner. And my mom, my birthday present for my mom was to fill up my gas tank because yes, you know, like literally, I'm not even, I'm not, quite clearly I'm not a kid anymore, I'm 21 now, but I literally, I grew up, and I grew up away from the freaking kitty presents to literally adult presents. Like, you know, so like, you generally ask a you know, kid, what do you want, well, I want, you know, I want some toys, or you know, I want this, or I want that, I want, you know, I want some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know, I want a new video game. Like, I shit you not. My mom, full tank of gas. Melvin, clean my car. <laughs> like, like, these are like... <laughs> And you know what? I will forever take those gifts. I, I love it. I love I love both them presents because my car generally dirty as fuck, and my car fucking kissing the e. But yay! So anyway, this is going on for a lot longer than I anticipated it to because I need to shut the fuck up and just end this video. But yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. Thank you guys for all the support. I love you all. Thank y'all, and I will see y'all. I need to stop saying y'all. I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Plagueicious. You. Plaguelicious. I mean, I know it's not a real word that I made up by taking plague spreader and malicious and putting it together, but at least pronounce it right. Damn, you made the word. Plaguelicious. I, I can't do it now. Plaguelicious. There you go. Be bell. <laughs> Thanks for watching.